All right, hello everyone. Now we're going to talk about Sun conjunct K2. Now, this means that you're born during an eclipse, just like if Sun was with Rahu. And eclipse births are always really unique and very special. And just as the Sun can't really avoid being eclipsed by Rahu or K2, in the same way, it kind of shows like, wow, wherever Rahu or K2 is at, this is where we're going to be really eclipsed. This is where we're going to really have a blackout. You know what I mean? A thing where we're dark, you know? Um, and with Sun conjunct K2, it's going to be on, you know, darkness around one's Sun, one sense of identity, one sense of self. Um, so one of the major uh, outcomes of this placement is that one can actually doubt one can actually doubt their ability to be first. They're about their ability to be a leader, their ability to be number one. So there can be a lot of major doubts, even though they can be, they usually are a very, very good leader, very like strong solar qualities have been developed in past lives or they wouldn't have the sun with K2. But um, there's usually some weird significant karma surrounding it. And that's the thing is that being born around an eclipse, it makes you have a more faded life, I've noticed. Like, again, maybe not everyone. I know a ton of people who are born on eclipses and they're not going to be as extreme as some of the other examples I could give. But there are some very extreme examples of people who have sun with K2 or Rahu who have lived very faded lives. And there's a lot of famous people with these placements. The herons are active behind me, aren't they? Um, so, yeah. One, one general thing is that, yeah, people born especially on an eclipse or even in that eclipse season will have slightly more faded lives. And especially if they're born like on an eclipse, um, things will be more faded just as in like, yeah, the sun is not going to be able to get around that eclipse. You're not going to be, you know what I mean? It's this faded kind of feeling. And they can live very extreme lives and they can be either like saints or sinners. You know, you can see really strongly in, the, in, in extremes oftentimes with these people. Um, so, you know, Sun conjunct K2 is like someone who, yeah, needs to be first, needs to be a leader, needs to have that Sun, but always doubts that they're able to do that. They're always, their Sun is being darkened a little bit. This is actually even why I chose to do this video where I have less light on me than in the other Sun Rahu videos. Like, oh yeah, this is perfect for Sun K2. Um, they don't tend to see how they're already being really respected and already in command and they're already a great authority. So they just keep trying to overdo it. Just like a classic K2 thing. Like, I don't know, just wherever your K2 is at is usually where you're tend to be too uptight and overdoing it um, or too myopic. And you need to zoom out and do what Rahu's indicating. And, but it's usually K2 is what you want. So it's usually until that's totally frustrated, there's some K2 stuff that they'll even bother going to their Rahu in their chart, people who have this. But it's essentially like by being first, I'll be okay. So they'll carry that paradigm. So wherever they're at, they feel like they need to be the best at it, become alpha. They feel very threatened by others who are alpha or leaders. They feel they have to be super steadfast, super consistent. Um, but it's just like really hard for them to maybe shift gears or be adaptable because they're always trying to be that sun. And the sun is like a thing that's just so strong. It's the only planet that's like, God, it's immortal. It's like, you can't even look at it. You can't even look at the sun for more than a moment without going blind. Just as the average person cannot really conceive of God for more than a moment without losing it. You know, we've all had these momentary enlightenments, but to stay that way forever, not easy. Just like how it's not easy to look at the sun even. You can't be on his level. So when the sun has got weird avashas and weird things going on with it, one can be really like expecting others to just always be on their level, right? And it's not healthy or it's, you can see how the sun would be, can be a bad problem. It can be problematic for health issues and longevity to have a, a sun, you know, kind of afflicted or with K2 or your Agni is burning a little too strong sometimes. Um, so it can be hard for them to shift gears, um, and they don't feel that fulfilled in their like stable, consistent building of a kingdom, unless they've gone and done Rahu and done the Rahu side of the chart. Yeah. So, um, 
they can really want to be in control of themselves so much that they can be too hard on them, their body or their health, like I was talking about, or on others. You know what I mean? Um, feels like the system has to be perfectly solid, whether it's their body or their business or their career. They can get very um, uptight about all that. Remember, K2 can make us feel kind of uptight. So they, they can be an uptight leader, basically. What I've also found is I would call this the, uh, the underground leader placement. This is my own research that I found that these people are all underground leaders. A lot of people that I've known through like the underground skateboarding world or, you know, these underground kind of cultures that I've been in as an Aquarius, I've seen the Sun K2 showing up with the people that lead those scenes. Um, and then another thing is they can be a supervillain. This is just a classic supervillain placement, just like Jupiter conjunct K2, which I talked about as the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So this is very similar to that um, because, well, if you think about it, sun is you're being a great king. So with K2, it means you're, that's going to be troublesome. So they'll, they end up giving up on being the light and shining, the shining light of the world. They'll have a point where they want to give up on that um, and just fuck it. You know what I mean? And just do whatever Rahu, whatever they're drawn to do. Now you could see how in an extreme case that would make one become like a supervillain, right? Or be like a not great leader. Um, so think of it, Timothy Leary, the guy who like led the psychedelic revolution. He has this, uh, Doreen Virtue, that lady who did all the angel card stuff and was like teaching and just initiating all these people into angel certification programs. And then during 2017, during the great solar eclipse in Leo, so weird eclipse time, she decides that she's a Catholic and a Christian and that tarot and divination all the stuff is evil and the devil and she's like video selves videotapes stuff like burning her old cards and her books and stuff so all these people like my mom all these people i know just random you know karens have been you know reading the doreen virtue angel cards and all this stuff and they were all lied to you know what i mean this was a false like this was an underground this was someone who went wow this has not done anything for me and i'm giving up like and changed path and so she was kind of not a supervillain, more of the underground leader, but in a way she had, she kind of let down and betrayed a lot of the people that she led. So just like Sun Rahu, you can also end up really letting down the people that you lead um, or that you're in charge of. Um, David Frawley is someone who has this and, you know, David Frawley's done good stuff, but I don't know. I feel like he's kind of a really he's a little rigid and he's a little uptight about rules and dogma and Hinduism. So I can really see this going on for him, but he's also an underground leader, like, cause he helped bring all the Vedanta, all the yogic stuff into the world. So he had a faded life for that. If you think about it, like a young random white dude growing up in America that would end up being that immersed in Indian culture, it makes sense that he would be like a, he would have this son Kate, he would be an underground leader. Um, Charles Carter, one of the biggest famous Western astrologers had this. So he was a big underground leader in the astrology world. K.N. Rao, big leader in the Vedic astrology world. He has this. Aleister Crowley, a big underground leader in the, theos in the occult world and also a major supervillain, if you ask me. Um, Crowley was born in an eclipse. Um, so he was someone who the light, the goodness was, in my opinion, kind of being blocked out a little bit. And again, you can have saints and sinners, like really extremes on this, on this uh, placement. K.N. Rao was more on the saintly side, if you ask me, although he had some personality issues, but um, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, Hillary Clinton has this placement, you guys. Like, so again, you know, before 2017, I was also one of those people who thought, oh, any, all these people talking smack about Hillary, that's just some redneck conspiracy user. That's just some crazy Republican stuff. And, you know, living in the Bible Belt, I try, I just thought, oh, these are all just these stupid chauvinist men. And boy, was I wrong when I looked into it. <laughs> her, there is a real body count associated with her and anyone who's crossed her. Um, and then there's Jerry Sandusky. Look into that dude. I don't even, I can't even speak about the horrors that that guy got caught doing. Um, but he was a major football coach leader. He was like a... This guy was like pretty much worshipped in New England football college world, and he got caught one day doing something wrong, very, very wrong. I can't even, I don't even want to say it, but 
yeah, so he was a super villain and an underground leader or an above ground leader if you're into football. Then King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII was another really wicked king that had this placement. Um, so yeah, there, Prince Charles, you know, who was associated with Epstein and always hang out with Epstein, un, super villain, underground stuff going on. Um, yeah, Pope John Paul I and II had this placement. Yeah, so there's also some other great figures, though, that have had this placement. So just to balance it out, because it in its own isn't going to make you evil or good. OK, so please don't think just by this one placement. I'm saying anything about you who is watching this. Um, you know, like uh, Helen Keller had this placement. So she was eclipsed from her sight. You see, um, Timothy Leary, I don't think, was like a bad person, you know, either. Uh, um, the actor Jonah Hill, Paris Hilton, Angelina Jolie, Sigourney Weaver. She's a great figure. Um, Bill Murray, amazing dude. Um, a lot of other clients I have that are just normal people that aren't crazy or anything either. Um, Luther Burbank, he's like a saint. Yogananda devoted his, his book, Autobiography of a Yogi, to him. Um, so yeah, so they can kind of go in extremes um and you'll have to read the rest of the chart of course to see the bigger stuff but yeah the sun rahu eclipses eclipse births they're definitely something to contend with so if you have this placement don't try to be too hard on yourself to be perfect you know what i mean don't and don't try to be too uptight as a leader or as a boss you know what i mean you probably already are in charge of something if you have this placement um some responsibility some important thing and remember, K2, he's just so dissatisfied. He's only happy with absolutes, and you don't find those in the world. So whatever K2 is with, kind of we get a little doubtful and unhappy with it. So they, this person can have doubts about creating their own destiny or about, you know, just their self-doubt. So, you know, just by doing the activities that Rahu's showing in your chart, that will help you with that. And just also just knowing this, try not to be too hard on yourself. Don't try to be perfect. Be perfectly imperfect, you know, accept yourself and your flaws. Um, and you're meant to be an individual, not perfect. You know what I mean? You're meant to be an individual. And to just like not be too uptight about your willpower and just uh, the rest really depends on what Rahu and the rest of the chart saying, really. But I hope that this helps. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have this placement, you know, please share your thoughts and feedback on it as well. All right. Thanks, you guys.